In this video, I'm going to give you an overview or an outline on how to increase your performance. Whether you're looking to increase your performance in swimming, triathlon, football, baseball, um, martial arts, fighting, uh, whatever it may be, um, we follow the same guidelines and then make it a little bit sport specific. So what I'm going to do is give you a little outline on the areas or the categories that you need to address to improve your performance. Because I know a lot of people are looking at training plans or following the training plan or using a coach and maybe you might missing a few things that if you added them into your um, training program could really increase the performance. So the purpose of this is not to give you a specific detail on how to increase the performance but however to show you how a good training plan would be laid out so you can compare that to whatever type of training plan you may be following and seeing if you are hitting all these categories. So when we're talking about increasing performance, like I said, no matter what it is, we're going to, we need to look at a series of categories. We're looking at endurance, strength, power, speed, range of motion, and balance. Now these categories are, are keys to increasing the performance. And many times I find people are totally leaving out any training in some of these categories. For instance, I have a uh, patient who's an Ironman triathlete, uh, very good. Um, however, he starts to get injured a little bit and he's put in hours and hours of training and then he's coming to see me because he's got some type of uh, hip injury. And then when we talk about his training program, uh, he's totally leaving out strength, power, and range of motion. So he's got half of the categories he's not even addressing at all. He's coming home and he's, uh, he's training you know, two hours a night uh, with runs and bikes and swims. But then you, when we talk to him a little bit about his, his training, he's totally not even addressing these type of areas at all. And this guy is a very fast athlete. Um, so you think if, wow, if he would just add these categories to his training plan that he's totally neglected, where could he go from, from there? So, like I said, this, this has to do with triathlon, it has to do with general fitness, whatever your, cat, your, your, your sport may be, these areas need to address. So, when we talk about each category, uh, in another video, I'll get a little bit more specific on, on what we need to do on these type of things. The purpose of this is uh, you, I want you to be um, look and see if you are addressing these within your training program, and if you're not addressing these, you know, by adding these to your program, you could really increase your performance. So when we're talking about endurance, uh, with, with endurance, with all the categories, we break them down to another kind of four categories that could be worked with it. So when we're talking about increasing in endurance, there are training strategies as far as that can be used to increase endurance, as far as um, different type of um, exercises that can do it. So, so the training is basically the exercise or the program. There are foods. There's specific type of foods and ways to eat that can increase endurance. There's different type of gears that can be used, uh, training products that can be used to increase endurance. And now there's supplements that can be increased endurance. And like I said, the purpose of this video right now is not necessarily to get in detail on this. I will at other time. But I just want you to know, so with each category, we have areas that can increase um, the training categories like endurance. Um, so, you need to address endurance and there's specific ways to, tra to train to increase endurance. There's foods that can enhance endurance, there's gear products that can enhance endurance, and there's supplements that can enhance endurance. Now, just to give you a, a, an idea of what some of these examples. Increase endurance, foods. What type of foods or what type of eating may have to increase endurance? Well, when we're talking about endurance, we want your body to use its own fuel as an energy source. So foods would be like to call foods that will create your body to be more of a fat burning body. Um, there's more calories in fat than there is in protein or carbohydrates. So there are certain ways to eat and foods to eat that will allow your body to be more of a carbohydrate storing or, or save it and, and predominantly use fat as the source of, of fuel. Um, and then there's different gears and there's different supplements. I'm not going to get into those. Um, but I'll get into those in a other um, uh, video. But so as far as endurance, strength, okay, strength. Now we need to address strength, and again with strength, we're going to have 
um, specific training that's increased strength, different foods that will cause an increased strength, different gears that can increase strength, and different supplements that can increase in strength. And um, within strength, we also have to break this down as far as um, strength, we have muscular enhancement, which is, is just causing the muscles to be basically kind of awakened. Then we move into a foundation strength, where you're creating an over body foundation of strength. And then you can move into a more progressive strength. And then lastly, a power where you make that explosive. So within strength, we have these subcategories. And depending on your training season is where you focus on these subcategories. So for the, the triathlete that I, I mentioned, he's not addressing strength at all. Okay? Well, if he would start addressing you know, strength, he might be able to do that extra kick in the run, um, be able to go up those hills with a lot more power and, and, you know, and force, um, and all greatly reduce the amount of energy. Um, I mean, injury, not, not injury. Um, so we got power, okay? That's the ability to, to be explosive. Speed, going over a set distance in a short amount of time. Range of motion and, and, and balance. So range of motion, um, you, be, you, should, you should be able to put your body through a full range of motion, a pain-free range of motion. Uh, what we do with our clients is we do a functional movement screen. We have the person do a squat, a lunge, a toe touch. If you can't, if, if, if you cannot stand, if you're an athlete and you can't stand here and touch the toe, your, your toes to the, I mean your hands to the floor, uh, if you can't do a lunge without feeling tightness, if you can't do a squat, uh, well, it's basic range of motion is going to affect other categories in, in here. And this isn't addressed with a lot of people. A lot of people just simply go out and, and train. Um, same thing with balance. So the main thing with, what I want to get across in, in this short video here is on your training plan, whether you're training for a triathlon, whether you're training for um, mixed martial arts, whether you're training for, for football, for baseball, are you training all these, at, these areas here? And what you need to do is you need to address all these areas and you they are all addressed at different lengths or different time during your training program or what type of season is it off season is it race season where, where you are you at um, and the other thing you need to do is then you need to, to rank these things so maybe you are very strong okay um, and you've done a lot of strength training uh, but your range of motion is terrible in the shoulders or your hamstrings. You need to find your weak areas in your training that you are either not addressing or your weekend and address those and then you come up with a priority. So when we work with a client we will sit there and do some testing or talk to them about, about their areas or their weaknesses in these areas and then develop a training plan that will greatly try to improve whatever category they're lacking at. Again, I go back to the triathlete who's not addressing range of motion, strength, or power. Um, if we create a training program where we greatly increase his range of motion so he's got more mobility in the hips uh, and then add more strength and power, who knows where he could go you know, after that. So um, the, the purpose of this was to look at the training program that you, you're, you're having right now or if you're using a coach and see if these things are added in there and, and remember most, all this stuff builds on one the other so within categories there's things to do within all these these type of um, you know categories as far as the strength you just don't sit there and say hey I'm going to start doing power or pilometric type of exercises without spending the time on enhancement foundation or progressive strength because if you suddenly start doing pilometric exercises without doing that, chances are you're going to get hurt, um, and then that defeats the whole the whole point. So take a little look at your your training program. Take in the, see if you're training on your own. See if you are addressing all these areas. Are you addressing the endurance, strength, power, speed, range of motion, and balance? And in another video, I'll talk about these a little bit more specifically on how to increase these.